is it me or are people of color holding their breath for the next news alert of a senseless uh, person of color being killed by a cop? Is it just me that is am holding my breath? Um, prior to the uh, verdict, uh, people of color were being killed senselessly by, um, by cops. During the trial, people of color were being killed by cops after the verdict. People of color are being killed by cops. So is this really a victory? I was listening to Sharpton say, um, let's see if I can quote this, the war and the fight is not over. The verdict gives us the energy to fight on, thank God. Why are we fighting? Why do we continue to fight? Uh, why are we at war? <laughs> why is there a war amongst people of color? Um, I still um, believe that it is more than just race. It is literally good against evil. You've seen the animation of the of the, the red little devil on one side and the little angel on the other side. Uh, I believe that there are entities in this universe that are manipulating um, scenarios of life. And um, uh, there is a um, book called uh, Post-Traumatic Slavery Syndrome uh, written by a young lady. Let me see if I can find her. Uh, Joy, let's see. Uh, written by Dr. Joy D. D. Grury and uh, D. E. G. R. U. Y. Um, I'm going to put a, a link into uh, this uh, post, but um, it goes on to explain how in our bedded in our DNA the fear, the 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 fear of the other people that don't look like us. Uh, came when um, we were captive and held captive for so many years. And um, I don't know about you, but um, even while during the trial, I was holding my breath, believing that there would be an acquittal instead of a conviction because we've seen it so many times in the past. And this was in my spirit. It was in, it was within me. I was not all oh, haphazardly, oh, there's a trial and justice will be served. No, no, I don't believe that. I don't, we've seen it too many times and too often where justice or who's justice? Who's justice? Remember, we were not brought here to ingratiate on this society. We were brought here to help to enrich this society. And when we were of further of use, we were of no further use. Uh, Marcus Garvey, um, back in the early uh, 20th century, spearheaded or attempted to spearhead an effort to get uh, Native, um, Native Africans or African Americans back to the motherland, uh, Liberia, um, and on the West Coast. And uh, there were several people, several, you know, former slaves that, that, that went back, but what did they go back to? A decimated, a decimated um, uh, country, you know, where our men and women were, were taken from there that would have been there and lived there and developed there and grow there and entrepreneur there and, 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 and been doctors and whatever else there. We were taken. So it was just like, you know, cactus rolling in the desert. And so, you know, Garvey, along with some other people, uh, spearheaded an effort because he realized just as we realized, we were not wanted. We were not wanted there if we couldn't serve their purpose. And even to today, even to today, you look at the NBA, you look at all of these mega superstar black athletes, whose purposes are we serving? Not our own. We don't own the NBA, you know, why not? 
but we're still serving. There's, they are still ingratiating off of our backs, off of our strength, off of our abilities to, to, to uh, create masses amount of money. And um, so I was holding my breath, you know, thinking that there would be an acquittal. <laughs> You know, it was, you know, even in, in this time of social media where everything is is live, even with the um, cops running around with um, body camps, there's still injustice. There's still injustice, still injustice, you know. So what does that mean? That means that we need to get out. Everybody, I, you know, I believe everybody's not going to, be able to get up, you know. Um, this is not our society. It never was. It was never intended for us to ingratiate on what what this society is. The the uh, co getting into college, we wanted to fit in so badly that we emulated whatever they did, so that we can fit in, so that we can be embraced and accepted. But we never will. It's not in the cards. You know, it's not in the cards, you know, if you believe in that stuff. So um, my son said it so eloquently. He says, Ma, I just wish they stopped hating us. Mm. Wish in one hand and my, my ex used to say, wish in one hand and shit in the other. See what stacks up, you know. Um, it's, it, it's in our DNA to have this innate fear toward white men is also in our DNA to, to, uh, submit ourselves to them. You know, we'll, we'll be in a midst of a crowd or, you know, at a social gathering or a party or whatever. And we'll find ourselves, maybe it's just me. I'm just smiling and, you know, just smiling, grinning, grinning and bearing or whatever that, that term is. And, um, as a white man talks or just speaking to me or whatever, I'm like, have this yes, um attitude. Yes, um because it's, it's in our DNA. You know, we can, we can walk around proudly and boldly and, and strut our feathers and peacocks and get our degrees, get our mansions, get our white picket fence, our, our, our Teslas, our, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And they'll pluck us off first opportunity. <laughs> You know, because we are still wanting to emulate what it is that they had. I, I, I posted in a, in a post some time ago where um, on the uh, plantation, you know, you know, when we were working in the fields and hard labor and producing their generational wealth, their generational wealth, we looked at our situation you know, we're ragged, we're torn, we're, 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 we're bruised, we're battered, we're abused, we're, you know, we're confused. And we looked at their situation. They got the pretty house and the pretty garden and the pretty flowers and the pretty clothes and the, the sun is shining differently over there. You know, the sun is shining harsh on us. And the sun is shining with, with lovely breeze and birds singing on them. And we looked at them and we looked at our situation. We said, I want what they have. I don't want this anymore. I want what they have. And that's from that point, we continue to emulate, to get and to be like them. But it was never, ever supposed, we were never, ever, it's not ours. It's not ours. Ours is in on Mother Earth, rich, fragrant, lush, you know, where all of the precious minerals are that have been raped by other countries. That's that's where we we come from greatness. So this this American dream or apple pie or whatever you want to call it is never intended to be ours. It never will be ours. And so unfortunately, we got our youth, our young men hustling, hustling, selling drugs, you know, selling whatever making that, that quick money and getting that artificial, that artificial I've made it, that illusion. And as soon as, as soon as, as soon as it's right, they're locked up for life. You know, then they're em emasculated in, in prison. 
you know, then they come out all screwed up. Then they only to go back in. Oh, I'm ranting and raving and, and ranting and ranting. And um, it, it just hurts. Uh, if you have an opportunity, I'll put the link uh, post post traumatic slavery syndrome. And uh, I have a friend, 60, almost 70 years old, and he has this mentality of keep your mouth shut. Don't, don't make waves. Just stay in your lane. Keep your head down. What? I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't privy to that. I was privy to speaking up, you know, speak to strangers, you know, he was privy to, no, 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 don't, don't, no, don't, don't say anything. Just shh. Yeah. Post-traumatic slavery syndrome in our DNA, you know, and we find ourselves just, yes, I'm in, we're staying late. We're working harder. You know, we're doing more, you know, we, we are, we're, we're committed longer and it will never be appreciated the way we value ourselves. So, um, get out, <laughs> get out when you can, if you can, um, otherwise you'll have to take on a different mindset, a mindset, realizing who you're dealing with. And when you know who you're dealing with, then you can come up with some strategies and techniques on how to effectively deal with them where it doesn't diminish you, but instead uplifts you and encourages you, charges you, you know, where you having a fabulous day. And it, it exists. Uh, it's not promoted though, you know, because there are some invisible force that says, oh, it's not real. You know, I mean, prejudice and all this, that's not real. Yeah, it is. It's very real. Hatred is very real. You know, uh, segregation is very real. That was the, that was the integration was one of the worst things that could have been done because it took us from our own lineage. It took us from our heritage. It took us from our culture. And it thrust us in a place where we weren't wanted. <laughs> but we said, we want what they want. So we want their education and we want their land and we want their housing, you know, equality. And we want that, you know, and they, we, they separate, we, we were separated from each other and our strength was separated together. We are, we are much stronger. We have unity. And, uh, but instead they gave us uh, integration in, in, into something that never will embrace us, never wanted to embrace us. You've seen the videos of the, of the, uh, young ladies going to the first, the first integrated school. You've seen the hatred, the trauma that those girls went through all the way up until them getting off and being escorted by the national guard. Oh, how awful, awful. Anyway, um, that's my take on it. Yeah, the verdict's in, and um, and are we going to be are, are we going to be equal? No, are we going to be seen as equal? No. Okay, so he took the fall for many that have done injustice to us. Uh, we will see what the. Um, sentences though i think he should have a knee on the neck he should have a knee on the neck and die from a knee on the neck an eye for an eye remember that somebody thought that that was a good idea you know and it i would think it, it would be a, a deterrent in crime an eye for an eye a tooth for a tooth whatever you know oh have mercy so anyway i'm gonna put that link um you all continue to be safe if you can. Don't go out at night. Don't go out while black. <laughs>